Hey everybody, it's Luna here and I'm going to be reacting to Conan O'Brien Experiences Australian Wildlife. Uh, I actually reacted to him doing Australian slang and then I saw him, uh, I reacted to him surviving the Australian bush. Uh, <laughs> those are both hilarious. Go check them out. Um, <clears throat> I will leave the link down below if you want to go check them out. They are hilarious. And I hope you guys are enjoying my content. If you are, please like, subscribe, leave a comment. Let's get to it. We're here at the Australia Wildlife Walkabout Park. This is Kiana, is that right? Yeah, yeah. Am I saying it correctly? Kiana, yeah. Oh, so I wasn't saying it correctly. <laughs> Not quite. Can I call you? So it's Kiana. Kiana. So it's Karen. Are you Karen? <laughs> Close. Okay. Christine. Kiana. Got it. This is Stephen. <laughs> well, there's 80 acres of land. 80? Yeah, and it's predator proof fence, so they're safe in it's here. It's very nice. Yeah. They're safe from the most dangerous predator man. <laughs> so just behind us here are all our uh, kangaroos and emus. Kangaroos and emus. Because actually, some of them have babies in their pouches right now. So that's actually a little baby tail sticking out of the pouch Oh, that's the baby's there. tail. Yeah. I, I don't want to be rude, but I thought that was a, um, an erection. <laughs> He's a jolly kangaroo. So he might even jump back into mum's pouch at that size. Oh, I do at you. that size, they get back into the pouch? Yeah. You know, that's a lot of millennials. They move back in <laughs> when they're like 22, 23. Yeah. Would you like to pad an emu? A what? An emu? Would I like to what? Would you like to pad an emu? You know, I don't get offered that every day. <laughs> oh. <laughs> there you go. Let me ask you something. You've got wallabies, kangaroos, emus all together. Yeah. Is there ever any intermingling of the species? No. There's no emu ruse? <laughs> no. Behold, the dreaded Tasmanian devil. It sounds like such a fierce animal, and then you see him, and it doesn't look very fierce. We're going to put funny uh, America's blooper sound effects on this. Doing, 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 doing. The Tasmanian devil, a very, very dangerous animal, but not the most dangerous animal. Definitely not. Do you know what the most dangerous animal is? Would it be a snake? Man. Man. <laughs> I can't believe you see that coming. Hello! Hey, That's not what I said. I said hello! <laughs> nope, got it wrong again. Hello! 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 <laughs> <laughs> this is the echidna. It has a long, protruding nose, very thin. The sense I'm getting from this animal is very much like, hmm, I don't want to be a bother. Mm, I'm doing uh. the best I can. Mm. <laughs> the uh, male echidna um, actually has a four-pronged penis. <laughs> four-pronged? Is that four penises or one penis with four tips? That's one penis with four tips. <laughs> That's a trip, why? dude. Um, why not? <laughs> why not? She's good. <laughs> a four-tipped penis. It's a lot of work if they're Jewish. <laughs> <laughs> Circumcision there. <laughs> <laughs> Before we meet Tonka, there's just a few things we Tonka need. Tonka the wombat. Tonka the wombat. Yes. Before we meet him, there's a few things we need to understand about wombats. They are inclined to bite on the back of your leg. It's important that you guys actually stand still because we don't want to encourage him because if you're moving, you're playing, he's going to bite more. You've got to trust Kayana and me to look <laughs> after Tonka. So what you're saying is when Tonka the wombat attacks and starts biting me, I should remain perfectly still and let him bite more until you two decide it's time to intervene. Exactly. They uh, can actually run up to 45 kilometers an hour. I've just been told not to move because the wombat may bite the back of my legs. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> 
They're very dense and muscly, and that's one of the reasons they can move so fast. <laughs> Talk about they gave us a pretty scary a speech before you came out. You look They're like you're cute. looking for your missing car keys. <laughs> there he goes. Back Oops. to slaughtering. Look at that little booty. <laughs> He's adorable. <laughs> Village, Tonka, the ultimate killing machine. <laughs> oh, there's a spider above you, above what? your head. You're about to walk into it. The spider's dangerous, but not the most dangerous creature. The most dangerous creature is man. Stupid. So this is gum nut, our, our male koala. They eat only eucalyptus leaves. Um, which means that they don't get much energy. So they actually sleep at about 20 hours every day. Yes. I'm familiar <laughs> with that phenomenon. Can I talk to you for a second, gum nut? All you eat is eucalyptus. And so you have no energy. You sleep 20 hours a day. Mm. So you can't get a job. <laughs> and that's what's destroying your life. Here's what I'm going to ask you to do. I want you to try. I see, no, when I see koalas, it reminds me of those image, like, images I saw when uh, the wildfires were running rampant in Australia. And seeing those koalas be set on fire alive like that and burning, oh, it broke my heart. <laughs> I'm about to start crying. Just try pizza. I want you to try pizza. I know. It's just <laughs> not my way, I suppose. <laughs> just not my way. Uh, those little fluffy ears. That's oh, so cute. I'm getting to you now, aren't I? <laughs> Kids, don't be like gum nut. Apply yourself. Work Apply hard. Yourself. And stay off the eucalyptus. Yeah, you make me sick. Uh, yeah, man. Oh, man. Just. Those poor, all those poor creatures, the wildlife in Australia when the the fires were going on, it was so heartbreaking. Oh my goodness! But um, there's a lot of good people who helped out the wildlife, and I'm so grateful for those people who helped out the, all those poor creatures. Um, but I digress. <laughs> I hope you guys enjoyed it as much as I did. I'll see you on the next one.